morning boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Now today we have a pretty exciting day. We're actually going to be flying with like 13 free flighted birds in Primrose Hill, which will be pretty epic. And answering a couple of you guys' questions while we're there, we did a small Q&A. We might pick five to ten of them uh, yesterday on the YouTube, so whoever did ask those questions, your answers are coming up. Before we get into this, I just want to address something very, very quickly. Now, we received this letter to our home address last week. Now, everyone who does send us fan mail, great, we love it, uh, but we usually do supply you with an address which is not where we live. This very, very, very clever young boy, and we are extremely touched, basically had watched all of our videos, and he found five in particular, he said, he's explained this to us, where he's matched the road to the shops around, to the color of our door, uh, and then went on Google Maps, went on Google Street View, and basically found out exactly where we live. Um, the start of the letter basically says, I hope you do receive this, this is how I found you. Now, this is amazing, it really is, that people did go to that much effort to get a letter to us, which was so, so cool, so thank you very much. But please, 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 we are not encouraging this. Do not try and find where we live, and do not send us mail to our homes. If you do want to send us anything, Pop us a message on Instagram, pop us a message on Facebook. But we were very touched, we've written you back, we hope you received the letter, and uh, we've included a special feather for you too. All right, boys and girls, time for the Parrot Play Date. Let's do this. All right guys, now as we did promise, we are gonna answer a couple of questions for you. Number one on the community section here. So, since Mikey and Mia have been feeding each other lately, what are your plans if they decide to become mates? This is a really scary one. When it first started happening, it was literally the cutest thing ever. We were like, yay, they're getting along. It's been like a year of absolute hatred between them and they just put up with each other, but now they want to feed each other. Kind of more Mia feeding Mikey and Mikey just being a bit confused on it all, but he actually started liking her when she started flying. So maybe he thought, hey, wow, she's a real bird now. Maybe she can be my mate. What are our plans? Well, we don't really know. I think we're just going to kind of deal with it as it happens. Mikey's bonded to me. Mia's bonded to mummy humans. So, you know, hopefully those bonds do stay strong. So if we see them becoming weaker, then we'll start panicking. But I guess we'll see. Primrose Hill. All right, we're just heading down the hill. All right, so let's meet all the lovely birds. So we have Sonic over here. We have Phoenix. We have the lovely Mia, as you guys know. We have Yasha over here. Mikey's over here, already making friends. Come here. There you go, Mikey. Thank good boy. you so much. He's very, very good. Yeah, he's huh? very good. You're a cuddly bird. He hasn't even flown yet. We have Arrow, and we have Zoom as well. And over here we have Ducky. Hello. Should we say hi to Isla? Hey Isla. Who's that? We don't get too close to Isla. She bites. Woo! All right, that's enough talking. Let's do some epic slow mo. Cue cinematic fun music.
another question. How do you desensitize your birds to the outdoors? Well, basically, Phoenix over here is just a baby. Now, what Chucky's doing is taking him out every single day on a harness. Don't take your birds outside without a harness if they're not trained. Now, what Phoenix is doing is getting used to the outside, getting used to the air, the wind, the smells, the birds flying around, people, dogs, anything like that. So eventually, Phoenix won't sit there looking all somewhat scared. It'll just be all normal for him. And then when he learns to fly, he'll be part of the gang and everything will be sweet. All right, question number three. How do we tell all the blue and gold apart? Now, we have over here, we got Mikey, we got Mia, we got Sonic, there's Isla somewhere. Now, you guys probably think they all look very much the same, but to us, actually completely different birds. So, we're gonna look at some features today. Okay, if you see Mikey's eyes, very, very, very bright. Uh, he's got two lines on his face, if you can see, where birds like Mia have many more lines. Same with Isla over here. They're all quite differently built in size. Isla's probably the biggest, then Mikey, then Mia. So Sonic's only one. If you look at Sonic's eyes, they're even darker than Mia's. The overall colouring is quite different with them. I mean, they are all blue, but some are more deep blue, some are more sea blue. Mia has a tinge of green on her tail. Honestly, most of all their personalities are just so drastically different, it's crazy. So there's no chance of taking home a bird that isn't ours, which is a question you guys ask a lot, so yay! All right, question number four. How do we know if they like each other? All birds tend to hate each other for some crazy reason. For example, if we put Isla on this perch, things are gonna go down. She's not even keen. See, it's just not gonna work. Some birds take a while to get used to each other. Usually, they're just gonna absolutely hate each other. I don't know why. It's not like humans where you know, you're nice to each other for a bit and then you get to know someone and then you decide if you hate them or like them. Birds initially will hate each other and then eventually they might become friends. For everyone wondering about the stunning apparel, might keep it two holes, uh, so we cut the rest. I mean, it's like fashion in this day and age. Versace's doing it, so why can't we? All right, we are in Chucky's house now. It's a house filled with birds. There's about eight parrots here. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. 